Hello and welcome to Cracking the Cryptic. So today we're going to kind of pitch it more at beginners, people who you know, perhaps have watched a few of the videos and gone, well, that's great, you sold very fast, and I can kind of catch up with an individual clue, but how can I actually break in and, and understand what a clue is telling me? And sometimes the issue with clues is, and we even find this, that, that you assume that one end of the clue is the other end of the clue, by which I specifically mean that you can't pick out where the definition is in the clue. It's vital to remember, there's always a definition at one end or the other. So <clears throat> I'm going to try and give you a few more tips on, on figuring out which end is which and what language in the clue is telling you something else. So... One of the key lessons, I think, is that it's very important um, to look at every word in the clue, even the little words. Like in one across, you're looking at barrister that's soft and smooth. And normally when you would read a sentence like that or a, an apparent definition like that, you'd focus on the on the on the nouns and the adjectives that are telling you something unusual barrister that's soft and smooth now in a crossword clue sometimes that is going to matter um, it could be that is ie it est or and and could be linking two bits or it could even have another role now having said all that in this clue um, the key bit that will help us solve it is looking at barrister after all and what we need is only a four letter answer. So we need a short synonym for barrister. And there may be, there are obviously a barrister can be a QC or a KC in periods when there's a king instead of a queen. And that's very short, but not very helpful letters. On the other hand, that QC is also known, and this is slightly general knowledge perhaps, as a silk. And as soon as you think of silk, you don't have to worry about soft perhaps being the letter P and and being a link to some more wordplay because silk very helpfully defines something that's soft and smooth as well. So silk is clearly the answer to one across and that's fine. We can put it in. Um, and as always, the key point is to identify where what the clue is telling you and which bit is the definition. So two down says, in Berlin, dainty girl. Well, it's very clear there that in Berlin or in can't really be the uh, definition. So the definition must be girl, could just be dainty girl, but that's unlikely. And then, as I said, let's focus on even the small words like in. What's that doing here? And... <clears throat> In this case, if we're assuming that girl is the definition, in must be referring either to Berlin or the combination Berlin dainty. And once we've thought of that, then we could look in the words Berlin dainty. Remember the L we've got at the start of the answer in the grid. And we can find a girl there. Because in the middle of Berlin dainty, we have the name Linda. Um, and again, you know, that's just something where we've wondered what the little words in the clue are doing for us. Here at eight across, the clue is uh, chap gets older but copes. Now, copes is quite an interesting thing to focus on there. Definitions will often be words that are quite specific in meaning, and that's because it's only fair for the compiler to give you something that allows you to narrow down the field of possible words quite quite sharply. So copes to me looks like a definition here. I can't think of short synonyms for copes, whereas short synonyms for chap are multiple. It could be um, any one of a number of names or guy or man or so on. Gets older. Gets older is quite specific as well. And what I see, I think when I see gets older is ages. So if I'm trying to fit ages into this grid shape, <clears throat> it obviously comes after the N. 
And that certainly makes me think, if I hadn't already from seeing Copes, of managers. And there we have man ages as chap gets older. I think the but is just a bit of flavour in the clue, in fact. And uh, Copes is the definition. <clears throat> so, again, it's just figuring out what could these bits of the clue be giving me. And it can work with any part of the clue. You might need to focus on any one part of the clue. So 11 across, tricky problem, brewing artisan beer. Well, now here, both tricky and brewing are things that could indicate anagrams. Tricky because you're looking at a word in a tricky way, or brewing because you're brewing up the constituents of a word to make something else. So one of those is more appealing than the other, because the answer, which is a five hyphen six phrase, is 11 letters long. And artisan beer is 11 letters long. Artisan beer also has a lot of vowels and quite a useful mix of letters. Like in Scrabble, only one of those letters would be worth more than one, which is the B. And that's quite an interesting feature of crossword anagrams and fodder is they'll often be made up of mostly straightforward letters with just one or two unusual ones. So sometimes you can just see artisan beer. It's a perfectly normal phrase. I mean, microbreweries and so on would be brewing artisan beer quite a lot. But on the other hand, it is a very useful collection of letters as well. So what, I'm th what it's fairly clear we're looking at here is a definition of tricky problem and anagram letters of artisan beer. So do have a think about that if you haven't already and pause the video if you need to think about it a bit further. We've got an A in the middle of the five letter part and uh, I'm going to fill in the answer now which is brain teaser and maybe you did find that anagram a nice little brain teaser. Now one down here we have an S, an M and a B. Now there's not a lot of words that are going to fit that pattern anyway. So let's have a look at the clue. A corpse, important one. That's not a simple clue straight off, but corpse. What is a corpse? It's a dead body. Um, and body, body would fit quite neatly at the end of this clue after obviously some. So how would somebody work there? Well, a corpse is somebody. That's kind of a pun, punning definition. If you'd found somebody, it would be a corpse. Um, and an important one, it's a somebody, is someone who is fairly important. So it's an important person. And that's a fairly, you know, once we've got some letters in the grid, that's fairly straightforward. Um, now, let's have a look at nine down, a long one, but beginning with G something N. Police force. And I mean, you might be able to immediately think of what sort of police. Police either is going to clue the beginning of the answer or the whole the whole clue in some way, or be involved in the definition for the whole clue. So anyway, police force, green, admire, criminal. And there is a sort a police force which will fit this wordplay, which, sorry, which will fit this um, space in the grid. And it's made up of the letters of green and admire, just as with brain teaser. We're looking at green and admire and the G and the D and the M are not the most common of letters, but fairly common. And all the others are just regular letters that are constantly used in all sorts of words. So there's something about green admire that does make it look like fodder for an anagram. Criminal is a decent anagram indicator. If something is criminal, it's terrible. And if you make green and admire terrible, you mix, mix up the letters a lot. That's kind of how crossword anagram indicators sometimes work. So we need a police force made from the letters of green and admire. And pause for a second if you need to think about it. But we're going over the channel to observe the gendarmerie. And uh, let's have a look at 13 across here. Everyone in short dash for US city. Can everyone be the definition, it doesn't seem likely. You know, the only thing that everyone normally translates to is 
all or each. And uh, that doesn't seem likely, therefore, to be the definition. U.S. city. There are short U.S. cities that appear in crossword clues, specifically NY for New York and L.A. Um, but it can also be the definition. So if we put all into something, um, obviously the only place all could go is there. And then we're clearly nearly finished with an American city, which is Dallas. And everyone has gone in dash, but it's been shortened by one letter to be just das. So all has gone in das to make Dallas. And again, it's just a question of what could this be giving, giving to me? You do have to remember that there are different possibilities. Words and clues can mean different things at different times. Clues can be set up one way and look like they're set up another way. But um, the more straightforward puzzles like this one um, will always be pointing you. They want you to get the solution. It's worth remembering the compiler wants to lose the battle. He might want you to have to think about it, but he wants you to get the answers. Now, four down. We'll just have a look at this one and then maybe end this video because uh, we don't want to kind of work it too hard. Four down says, going along with others, one's on foot. And it's a phrase, two letters and then four letters. And um, I think there we can see that going along with others is likely to be the definition because it's, it's a fairly typical phrase in the language. And if you can think of something that fits that, then we just have to justify that there is one on a foot and there is an instep on everybody's foot and being in step is going along with others. So, you know, feel free to have a look at the rest of the clues. Let me just um, scroll up or down, three across. Sheriff's officer to leave money for waiters. I think that's an old word. And the definition there is sheriff's officer. Um, five down, like some workers needing houses destroyed. Well, again, there, I think it's almost certainly going to have to be like some workers is as the definition. Um, and, you know, do, do feel free to pause the video with the rest of the clues. Um, expose and see if you can figure out what, what the answers are or at least how they how they are likely to be composed um, and thank you for watching hope to be able to give you more information next time and uh, do join us again on cracking the crypto thank you